<laughs> oh man what a job look at this now while you think this may be a simple job look at this monstrosity of stuff that they put all around it customer called and said hey I need you to replace the trailer hitch yeah no problem but golly what a mess man I don't know <clears throat> this guy broke off you know what I may do look this is what they gave me I actually may just sand this dowel down and put it back in that piece I don't know that I want to mess with all that. That's that is quite the quite the ugly mess. I can't believe no no that's not that's not factory. I don't know what they did. But that is not good. Yucca. This is crazy. Okay, uh I gotta think on this one because this one's a pretty messed up job. I don't really like it. You know, and it's one of those things where, you know, if I don't do it, somebody else is going to do it. So it may as well be me. <laughs> but let's see if I can sand that dowel pin off of there. And get that pin out so we can save ourselves a lot of headache. Let's see what happens. down to where you can see the perimeter of that little pin I'm gonna see if I can tack something on there and yank it out or maybe just hammer it a little bit here and there see if it'll come out uh, it's worth a shot right because uh, this is pretty messed up and I don't want to take the responsibility of cutting all that baloney out so if I can fix it with that that sure saves me a lot of headache a lot of time and it gets the customer back up and running a little quicker okay let me see if I can get that out Okay, so as you mean is how that's such a small little spot. I'm gonna use my little welder here to try and just weld on that little pin so I can try and get a nut on it or something to pull it out. So we'll see. Uh, keep that on here just for specific reasons like this. Even stuck bolts works really good. Okay.
Well, it looks like that guy came out. Wasn't so bad. Now, to determine whether this piece fits that same uh, receiver hitch before I tear that one up. Let's go check. give me this I wonder if it's worth going to look at a trailer place that has one this size one of these and then just grinding that pin out and swapping it out I might I might just do that because I don't want to modify this one <coughs> so let's see what I can find I'm gonna do some internet search real quick and then I'll get back okay so I'm gonna I've changed my mind on second thought, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy out. Uh, as I was looking it over, this side piece looks like it was added on to this side piece here. And you can still see the original curvature of this edge right here. So the only thing here is it overlaps. You can see they hammered it in a little bit so they can weld that up. I will clean it up as cleanly as possible. This bottom edge right here, was welded along this bottom edge right here. Now I, I do not like this at all. This is really not good. Uh, the reason I was going ahead with changing it out instead of this now is because I could be driving around all day looking for that size. And um, I don't know. Uh, when you consider I, I could be driving around all day or just fixing it, well, I'll just fix it. Now one thing I did notice, it looks like this is bent down, so I may leave as much of this as I can and just adapt it and trim it to fit the top of that one. Uh, there's still no telling. This is just this is just a mess. <clears throat> and uh, unfortunately it's one of those things that has to get done. So uh, without wasting any more uh, effort or time, I'm gonna go ahead and start gouging this out. People have asked me before, what's better, a plasma gouger or an arc gouger? Well, an arc gouger would do much better in this situation than a plasma gouger. There's no way you could reach way in there with a plasma gouger. 
So let me switch sides. I need to cut across the top and cut across this here and see if I can get it out in one piece. I'm not, I'm not shooting for that, but if I can, may as well. If not, I'll just start chopping it up like I've done before on other things. All right, let's keep going. So I got most of that off. Hold on, there's some stuff sticking to my magnet on my camera. Uh, okay, so this is being held up by the weld behind here. Turns out that flat bar that they put over it was overlapping this area here and it was hiding it. So I couldn't get to the weld at that angle, at this angle right here. That was still holding on to it so <clears throat> granted this this centerpiece right here is still in here but at least now i can see where that cut line is and i can just erase that until i see the separation line between the two and that piece should slide out i'll clean all this up clean this bottom up it's cleaned up pretty good uh, that's without any grinding or anything so hopefully i can clean this up as well and then just slide the next one back in there and be good it's got its own stopper that stops back here i don't know if you caught that earlier Oy. right in here so that'll help me reposition it where it was originally the only thing i don't i don't know is i think that thing was bent because that is lower than this looks to be so I may need a little bit of trimming here to make it fit back where it's supposed to go. I don't know. I still don't like it, but 
it's at least coming off rather uh, rather well oh there you go look i can i think i can almost see the separation line right there right there somewhere in that area so that's good i'll just start erasing that as closely as i can as carefully as i can then blend this down with a with the grinder and you won't see that when i weld it under new same thing here i'm glad i could see this edge so i can know where to follow along this way and that way i don't tear too much into this piece here because then it'll just be a gap for me to fill and i don't want to do that so if i can avoid it i most definitely will try so let me clean this up with a needle scaler see what i need to do to get that chunk off of there and kind of clean it all up the things are looking good Okay, here again here you can tell where that that end of that this piece was welded right in here so it got all rusted up but i can just erase all that and erase all this same thing with this here just smooth it all out like it was not there so we are making pretty decent progress okay you can't see so well here because of the lighting and stuff but this is looking all right it's coming out and i just need to do that uh, uh, this on the other side and i should be able to hammer it out of course there's still no telling right we don't know but we'll see let me uh, keep going See if this thing comes out. Got a long pry bar you see in the shadows. I'm gonna install it from the top side. didn't work 
but here's why they put some tacks in there of course why would he do that maybe like they didn't want it coming off which is fantastic except for it's, unless you're somebody like me, me who's trying to get it off <laughs> okay i'm gonna stick the gouger in there and and uh and cut some of those pieces off i don't know that you'll catch it on film but we'll see it up too terribly bad so that looks good now i just get the grinder on there clean it up make it look nice and then i'll have to see as i mentioned before well let's try it out for now let me put you guys up here see, can you see that maybe Okay, don't quite fit yet, but we'll make it fit. Okay, so that cleaned up all right. It, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I still don't like this being too low but you know it could be that this is angled crooked so what I think I'll, I'll do is I'll try and tap that in there I'll slide it in a spot and see if I can hammer it in and if it's right it's right and I'm just copying what was already on there so let's see what happens here I was considering moving that but let's just wait on that turns out this is not a tube this is a solid bar so I thought I could flex it or bend it or heat it or something like nope that's pretty solid so let's see what I can do there.
crazy thing is pointing down. It's got a gap back here. And then it hit this guy here. That I can fix. Not easy, but it works. And I really don't like it. It really sucks. Um, it's lining up good. <clears throat> it's lining up back where it's supposed to go. Can't really see back there. But it kind of butted up where it stops. So that's good. And this is about as centered as it can get. So that's good too. I mean, what do you do? It is what it is. One of the things that I think they struggled with is this gap right here. Uh, the trick to that is just weld that and then hammer that. Close enough. So that's what we'll do. And uh, running a couple passes, stick weld it. You know, it should fill up pretty easily. So not too bad. The only thing, I don't like it down here, but you could run a couple passes and make that look like it was not a big deal. <laughs> Dummy, I should have, I should have taken the paint off. Maybe I use some 6010 as a quick little whip, burn it out. Uh, yeah, but either way, I'm not gonna put that big old piece of bar that they had there. That bar was, you know, it's too much heat affected zone. I don't, I don't really like that. So I'm just gonna weld this the best I can. It's, this just does not make sense period because you had that cut there you're relying solely upon this top weld which is fine and this being that it has a slit this is hanging pretty much free all right so it doesn't really make sense or where it's grabbing the strength from it's grabbing the strength from way back here so it, it's this it just doesn't make sense but, you know i don't know if they modified this on their own at some point or I mean, they had to uh, because not even these cuts are square. They're, they're at an angle. Everything's crooked about this trailer. Uh, other than, well, even that's crooked. It's not sitting straight, but that's what the way it is. So I am going to put it back the way it came. And that's what we're gonna do. So let me grab my stick welding stuff and we'll, we'll just start welding this thing. Some very thin spots on that that material.
sure if you've seen some of my older videos where I use a needle skater to pick at all of the metal before I weld on it. Uh, partially, this is why, because the grind marks will hold on to BBs a lot more than a speckled surface. So I didn't do that this time. I, um, I didn't. I, I didn't use the needle skater like I should have, and so now I gotta fight all these little BBs. But that's about it. That's all I'm gonna do there. Uh, it's got a little bit of undercut along this edge, but that's not coming off. Same thing here. I shook and I grabbed some material from there. I may put another little stringer across the top. I'm not sure. Now it's just a cut across here and do it around the other side. Put the chains back on. So, oh, and weld this guy. So we're getting close. in there. three not bad <laughs> there was a weak spot in that where that cutout was I guess uh, there's some weld or something that covered it initially but I messed it up so don't look at that <laughs> that looks good okay uh, let me weld onto this and then we're we'll be done oh sorry chains that's right almost there
Alrighty guys, well that'll do it. Yeek. And this, if anything, is better than before. Uh, and it's not the best, not the worst, but I actually feel pretty decently confident that it's gonna do well now. Uh, all that extra scab plate and stuff junk on there was very frightening at the beginning. It was very worrisome, uh, you know, but I guess the way they set it up will work. Um, again, I'm not happy with it. They didn't even put this straight. Nothing! <laughs> but it is what it is. It may not have been worth their effort to kind of straighten it out. And the situation with this, this trailer is that they borrowed it. So they borrowed it and it broke here. So now they wanted me to fix it and replace it at least to as at least as good as it was. So it is. It's back to the way the original owner had it, other than these big flat bars on the outside. But other than that, I think it's it's pretty good. The welds turned out pretty decent. Uh, except for those. <laughs> and those came out okay. This is eh, it'll work. But it'll do for what it is. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one and let me know what you think of this setup it's kind of crazy kind of a mess all right see you guys